coding is just a tool like a paintbrush Owning 100 paintbrushes doesn't make you an artist. What makes you an artist is what you create with them. You know, when you start coding, you are told to practice every day, follow tutorials, grind through projects. And if you check it, it's great. But if you're coding without a clear goal, you'll be going in circles. And you know that real progress happens when you stop seeing coding as just writing lines of code and start focusing on what you're actually creating. Because creating isn't just about the final product, it's a process and it starts with ideation, moves through experimentation and yield solution of course and sometimes even life results. So in this video we're going to break down how to shift your mindset and finally start coding with purpose. As beginners, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that the more you code, the better you get. You dive into tutorials, you write code all day, and sometimes it feels like you're not going anywhere. And this happens because you focus too much on things that distract you from the key question. And what is the key question? What am I actually building? So instead of only thinking about the lines of code, you need to zoom out a little bit and think about what you're trying to achieve with that code. Otherwise, you just be writing syntax up and down without creating anything meaningful. So if you're watching this video, you need to pause that your current coding project and ask yourself these questions. What's the purpose behind this code? Who is this helping? And if you get any answers, it's best that you write them down and it's going to give you some level of clarity. Clarity. And as you know, clarity is the first step towards progress. You did something meaningful goes beyond writing lines of code. It's about defining what you want to create before you even start coding. Think about the problem you want to solve, the user experience you want to deliver, and the goals you want to achieve. Coding should come after you have mapped out these things clearly. Otherwise, you just be filling up your files with functions that don't lead anywhere. So you have to remember that creating something is a journey focus on the outcome first because code is there just to bridge the gap between the idea and the outcome think about your project in terms of the big picture what are you building and why does it matter if you don't get any answer to this if you don't get any answer to this you really need to stop coding take a step backwards and re-evaluate yourself it's easy to get lost in debugging fixing bugs tweaking features sometimes you focus so much on the tiniest details that users don't even realize but the big picture helps you stay motivated and grounded even when you're going through tough phases your motivation is intact it shouldn't fade because you know what you're working towards so this shifting your focus towards the big picture is where the experimentation really shines. You have the idea, now you are building it, you are testing it, you are reiterating, you are refining it until you move closer to a real functioning solution. So it's just easy. What you just have to do is, okay, wh why does this exist? Who does it serve? What impact is my project going to make on the users? How will it improve their lives? I assure you, if you think about your projects like this, you are going to feel more purposeful and you're going to feel like a creator, not just a coder. So visualize your project end results. If you were trade with someone, what would you want them to say? This is very important. How would you want your users to feel when they use your project? So this clarity is kind of fills your coding with purpose. Not just the user, sometimes you're creating for yourself. So if you were to use this, how would you feel? The next thing is that you have to really stop chasing perfection and start creating solutions because sometimes we get caught up in the fact that we're looking to build the next AI whatever, we're looking to build the next whatever that Elon Musk hasn't built and bigger things. You just have to start with the problems that are around you, the simple day-to-day -day issues that you experience. I remember when I was feeling a lot overwhelmed in my life and that somehow to clear up my mind and get more clarity. I went ahead to build a journaling app just for me. So it helped me gain clarity because I built it in a way that it would solve my problem. It had different different categories that I can save work related things cool related things you get so don't really chase perfection as far as you're creating a solution that is meaningful whether it's just to you or to someone else it's okay it's 
perfect his progress you have to focus on creating something first because when you have a life result it's real when you have a usable project that you launched you can get feedback and you can iterate and make it even better and that's when true progress happens so you have to shift your mindset you have to work on solutions rather than flawless code i don't know but you shouldn't really work so much on making your code perfect because code evolves over time about to face challenges bugs errors i want to make you fit but the mindset is that you have to view those things as opportunities and you know when you stop coding just for the sake of coding and start creating with purpose everything changes learning becomes exciting challenges becomes opportunities and even projects they feel meaningful not just tasking your to-do list to check off and this is where experimentation meets growth so every time you try something new even if it fails you're one step closer to a better solution so if you're feeling stuck if you're feeling overwhelmed please take a step backward stop focusing solely on coding and instead shift your focus to the bigger picture think about what you're trying to build why you're building it and the problem you're solving and you have to remember that coding is just a tool but what defines you is not how well you know the tool it's what you create with it so stop coding just to code start building start solving start creating that's how you grow that's how you stand out if you found this video helpful please like comment and share this video with your friends i'm a front-end developer and technical writer please subscribe to my channel if you love my content bye